gonna take you through the best round reel to catch some flounder. You're gonna be catching so many flounder, the game warden's gonna come up and ask you, how'd you catch so many flounder? All right guys, so flounder season just opened up North Carolina, and we're gonna take this time to run you through some of the best spinning rod reel combos for flounder or fluke fishing. We're gonna go through the best size rod and reel, and we're also gonna show you the best line, or at least the line we like to use. We got a brand new rod and reel here, and we're gonna take you through why we set it up to go flounder fishing a little later, so you can see exactly what we're doing in terms of what size line we're using, or what tests and what weight line and then exactly how we set it up to go do some flounder slaying, baby. All right, so let's run through some of these rod reels now. All right, so we got a couple different rods here. We got the Pen Fierce, we got the Daiwa, and we got the Cast King. If I had to choose just one though, i go with the Daiwa BG, and here's why. The Daiwa BG is great for three things. It excels over any other of these combos on the table or ones that you can find online. It's got great line capacity, the right power, and one of the best drag systems in a saltwater reel that you can find. So let's talk about why the power of this rod is so great. It's a medium power rod and it's seven feet long. This power with the length provides the right sensitivity to feel those light flounder bites. But it also has enough backbone for you to set the hook nice and firm and make sure that that hook gets into the side of the mouth. Our other options on the table here, the rods are a little too stiff to feel the flounder bites, which makes you lose more fish, which you don't wanna do. Because of that medium power rod, you have the sensitivity to feel those light taps and catch more fish. All right, and we paired that nice seven foot rod with a nice 3000 size reel. You wanna keep it a little smaller because you're gonna be out there casting quite a bit. So you don't want a super heavy, large, chunky reel. So 3000 is the perfect size for that. And it has enough line capacity that you can catch pretty much anything out of the ocean. And it's a perfect size, not just for flounder, but also those incidental bycatches, you know, drum, whiting, stingray, Whatever else oh is going to be hitting your line, this can handle it. So get about a 3,000 size reel to pair with your seven foot rod. This reel comes ready for a braiding line. You see that right there? That's going to allow you to attach braid directly to the reel without a backing. It'll stick right there. That's key. And then that carbon drag system, baby. That's carbon. Also waterproof. It'll put the pounded on some flounder, baby. Let's yeah. go. Woo. Woo. It's ready, baby, it's ready. Now that we talked about why you want the Daiwa BG, we're gonna show you how to set it up. So the first step to setting up your rod and reel is to take your reel off and put some line on it. So just unscrew it right here, clip that zip tie, you'll have your reel off your rod in no time. I found it's a lot easier to spool your line when your reel is free from your rod. Now that you have the reel off your rod, it's a lot easier to put the line on it. I like to lay the reel like this, and now I'm gonna show you how to tie your braid directly onto your reel. So we're going with some 30 pound braid. I like to use some Power Pro, and you can find that in the description down below. My favorite knot to tie to start spooling your line is the Arbor Knot. And we have a video, and I'll link that above, showing you exactly how to tie that knot. Um, it's gonna be a little harder using this line since it's black. Um, so I suggest you go check out that video to learn how to tie the Arbor Knot to spool your reel. You may be thinking, 30 pound test, that's ridiculous to be fishing for flounder. Um, well, the thing is, is flounder really like to hang out near jetties and pylons, and they also like to take your bait and run right at them. So you really wanna have confidence in your line <laughs> and the ability to pull those fish away from that structure, or else they might just break you off. Um, that's why we go with the 30 pound test, fishing near jetties and rocks. If you're not fishing near jetties and rocks, you can easily pull in a massive flounder on six pound test. You just need to play it right. But since we fish near structure, go for that heavier line and you'll be more confident that you'll pull in more fish. If you guys want to keep learning grade A information about how to catch more fish, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn those notifications on. We have a wide variety of videos covering multiple species, how to catch them, great tips and tricks so you can catch more fish. Also, swing by our website to get more in-depth information on the gear and tackle that we love to use when going out fishing. So, just tied that arbor knot, and now we're gonna spool it up. It's best to do with a partner. Just get somebody to hold your spool of line, and you wanna do it, make sure it's nice and taut when you're reeling it in so you don't get lupus linus. You really want to make sure you got that nice and tight going onto the reel. Oh, okay. 
See, oh, oh. you hear that carbon? Ooh. Sometimes it's best to put a pencil through the spool of line that you're spooling up. Or you put your fingers on either end. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> While we're spooling this, we like to tell jokes to pass the time. What's the difference between a fish and a banjo? You can tune a banjo, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> Get some all the time. Well, we hope you liked our entertainment while we spooled this line up. We got it all the way complete. Now, if you pay attention to details, you notice that the line is yellow now. We used one spool as the backing and another spool as the front end. We have two different spools, 30 pound test, um, but we're just putting them together to spool this one reel. Now that you have your reel spooled up, it's as simple as putting it back onto your rod and you are ready to go. Now that you have the right rod and reel set up for catching flounder and flute, we're going to teach you some of the rigs. So go check out our next video on some of the best rigs for flounder fishing. We'll see you right there.